I like to use hair over dental floss. I know it sounds gross, but this just works. It's a great system. Cost doesn't cost me anything. Did this lady just seriously use her hair as dental floss? She's probably gonna lose hair when she gets older. And you actually think that it's a cheap way of doing it, risking getting your hair loss? Like, uh, bro, how cheap can you possibly be? Yo, what is going on, guys? Hopefully, you guys are all having a fantastic day. Slide here. Now, welcome to the second video on the channel where we will be watching a video about a lady who literally has her son feel tortured by her. Now, yeah, I also want to give a quick announcement. Shout out to The Rapper. Make sure to go subscribe to The Rapper for making the channel banner. Looks absolutely outstanding. Really love it. Nice retro theme. So yeah, make sure to go subscribe to The Rapper. The link will be inside the description. Without further ado, let's get into this. PR executive and single mother Kia Cambridge shares her suburban Wisconsin apartment with her 18-year-old college-bound son, Alex. Hi, Mom. No wonder why she's single. That was so unsurprising. If I had a wife who was that cheap to use her hair as dental floss, I would be out of there. She's crazy. Uh, and I feel bad for her son as well. Like, that son is probably being tortured. Even the way he just said hello to her. Look at that. Hey, Mom. Insane. Mom. I never have flossed my teeth with my hair before ever. Morning. Love of my life, love of my heart, my son Alex is gonna be moving out soon, so now we're really tightening the purse strings. The love of my life, my son, finally moving out of my house. You know what? First thing that comes to mind, I get to save money. How does that even end up inside your brain? Like, oh my God, you're supposed to love your son, not care about the money. My mom wants to save money for me for college. I have to grab a measuring cup and a cup I'm gonna pour it in because I have to make sure it's only half a cup full. Has she been spending your money for college? Are you serious? And that's even more sad. He has to pour a certain amount of like grape juice, whatever he's drinking, orange juice, into a cup. I, 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 how can you possibly be that cheap? I wouldn't, how would you even be able to survive off of one cup a day? That, that gets kind of annoying after a while. Alex really gets irritated with things that I propose on how we can save money around here. She starves her kid just to save money and asks, oh, why is he getting upset? You're like a, a cheap version of Kim Jong-un. Like, it, what goes through your head? You're such a dictator to him. Well, I'll see you later. Love you. Bye. Every Monday, I go in, I get my latte, then I bring it home. To save money, I usually buy one large cup, and then I ration it out over the days. By rationing out the latte over three days, I'm able to enjoy the latte for a third of the cost. I would not be able to enjoy a latte that has been sitting out three days on my table. That is nasty. It's probably a plague in there. Like, how are you able to enjoy that? that it, it, what? The lipstick marks indicate how many times that I've had to reheat this cup of coffee. On maybe the third day, it seems like you get this little, this film on top that you gotta take off. That part's disgusting, but there's good stuff underneath that. Are you serious? You're gonna go under your lipstick, probably find a little tiny bit of coffee under your lipstick and say that's the good part? That is nasty. That, you, this is even the cheapest family anymore, guys. It's the most nasty family out of the scene. I should just title it Nastiest Mom in the World, not Nastiest Family, because I think the song actually has a bit of reality. Her coffee moments are probably the most absurd. Coffee cups like all stained and has lipstick all over it and it's just kind of gross. What the hell has that kid been eating? That kid sounds like a like he has a, thro a toad stuck in his throat. It's like one of those smokers. Oh, I've been a smoker for 45 years. I keep my chewed pieces of gum in the freezer because it helps preserve the flavor. I usually chew one piece every three days. See, I start with a sit piece on Sunday. Ride that out till about Tuesday. Then we get to Wednesday. That's when I treat myself with a whole new piece of gum. She's treating herself like she's a pet. Like, seriously, she just skipped like half of the whole week just to have one piece of gum. Now that's actually kind of gross after a while. Imagine having the same gum piece older and older again for three days. Like, that probably gets rotten over a few days. What? With this system, I don't spend more than $10 a year on gum. 
I refuse to try that because I don't even like gum after like two hours, much less like three days. This kid just spoke the biggest facts. I would never be able to have gum after like what? Like 30 minutes after sitting out like on a table like open. That's freaking nasty. Dude, I feel bad for this son. Dude, I agree with you so much, man. You don't need to do that much to save money. Food can be a distraction to other things that we need to get done. I like that crap, it's good. Alex and I will eat a buffet every day, once a day. I grew up going to buffets a lot, and she would really make sure I had a lot to eat and have that last us. We eat one time a day. No wonder why your son sounds like that. You eat one time a day, are you insane? You're supposed to eat like three or four times a day and not just like a little bit of crabs on a plate. Like, are you serious? And we just pile it in. You know, I'm gonna miss you. You know, I'm gonna miss you a lot. You're the light of my life and I wanted to talk to you about something. Now, uh, your room. I wanna sublet your room. She needs to stop lying to her son. It's just like, hey, you want this treat? Well, guess what? You're not getting it, because you know why? You're going to have to sell your room first. Like, seriously, she's just, like, talking about how to save money and get money off of him. Like, it, you're supposed to care about your son. But where am I going to stay when I come back up? A nice, clean, quiet motel. <laughs> wow, the kid's emotion on his face just completely changed. How can you even do that to your son? It's just, hey, where am I supposed to go when I come back up? Well, guess what? You can live outside in my backyard, probably in a hole. How about the chaise lounge? With my son moving out, I want to take advantage of the empty nest. I don't feel good about my mom renting my room, but that's what she wants. I'll have to let her do it. Now, I do agree that if your mom tells you to do something, you should obviously do it. But if your mom does not get two craps about you, she, she doesn't even, like, do anything. And she probably spends about $10,000 on you probably your entire lifetime, like 60 years of life. I don't think that you should actually give up your room for that kind of stuff. Like, she obviously doesn't care about you. I am sad because I will miss my mom because she has been very nice to me and good to me my whole time here. Oh man, I'm really gonna miss my mom. She's been so kind to me. She just gave me this old garbage bag that she probably puts her nasty uh, foot fetish in. And yeah, she's making me use this to put my clothes in. Like what? How is she treating you kind? She's gonna give you a trash bag to put your clothes in. I love you very, very much. But I won't miss her frugal ways at all. <laughs> I was expecting to leave with my whole bedroom, but instead all I got was my computer, an air mattress, and some clothes. I mean, I wouldn't expect that much, like, from a cheap, like, mom like that. Like, she, the moment you probably walked out of that door, she probably went straight on eBay and started selling out your whole bedroom. I'm really glad that Alex made the sacrifice to leave his things behind, because now I'm able to rent this place out. Are you seriously that cheap that you're gonna use tape instead of a wall to have your tenants in there? I don't think anybody is gonna wanna live with you if you're gonna have a tape to divide you and them. Like, they want nothing to do with you. Trying to create boundaries so that we can section off the space between tenant and myself. Hi, you're here for the sublet? Yes. Yes, come on in, come on in. Okay. Right this way. Yeah, so uh, just uh, watch your step here. Now we're coming in here. What is and, this? Uh, Bro, I love her reaction. I would have the same exact reaction. She, Even the mom was trying to just go brush that off. She was walking right, she was like, oh, they here? We have a mattress? Nope, you got a whole entire tarp as a wall. That's, that's a sheet, so, uh... What is... Is this gonna always be here? That's, that's a divider. 
I feel bad for the tenant who has to live with her because she's just such a cheapskate and she's such a pain in the butt sometimes. The other things on the other side of the sheet are not included unless you pay for them. These people aren't going to take an extra $100 a month just to pay you so they can actually take a crap in peace. I'm telling you, you should obviously give them the basic needs. They need a bathroom, kitchen, bedroom, and a living room. That's what they need. You should not say, oh, you get your own bedroom. Guess what? Now we're just going to completely divide off the rest of the house and you're going to have to pay extra. So the washer and dryer, they're on the other side of the sheet. I think any new tenant's going to be pretty surprised. How big is this place? It's about 900, 950 square feet. OK. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Try to give it a test drive. Yeah, this is a nice bed. Mm -hmm. We do have a fridge here for you. We have a hot plate. So wait, there's no kitchen? No, there is. Oh, OK. So then why is that in here? Well, the, the, the fridge and the stove, they're, they're turned off. What you're paying for here is the common area, the bedroom, and the bathroom. What is going through this woman's head? That refrigerator looks bad enough. Imagine trying to sleep and you hear that thing going off like a freaking ventilation. Like, that's not okay. And you can't do that to people. People aren't going to pay extra. They should automatically get it if they're paying to rent out a house. Well, this is kind of like an inconvenience for me. I, it's very possible that some of the new tenants will back out the minute that she starts going over the rules. She told me there was a kitchen and I had to pay more for a kitchen, which who does that? Who does that looking ass? That kid just said the straightest fact. That's the best reaction I've ever seen. Bro, this is even better than that lady you throw with the mattress. This is hilarious. When I first saw the sheet, I thought it was very trashy. I don't want to see that sheet there when I walk home every day. I'm getting some mixed emotions, mixed reviews on the place. There are no mixed reviews. Everyone's reaction was the same. They think it's trash, so give it up. Are you uh, leaning towards a yes here? Or? Yeah, I'm leaning towards a yes. Yeah. Right. Brand is exactly the tenant I was looking for, exactly. Now I found him. <laughs> I can accept the curtain. As long as it's quiet on the other side of the curtain, I'm OK. I think the new tenant will be able to handle my mom's rules. I think that you know they're going to find it very bizarre at first. My mom becomes so accustomed. And yeah, I guess that's the end of the video. I don't even know what we watched. And yeah, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure to smash that thumbs up. Leave a comment right now. Also, I want you guys to all share this video with your friends. Obviously, subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel for more content. And yeah, sorry, it couldn't be too much funny on this video. There wasn't really stuff that you could have made fun of or like, you know, like funny in a way like that kind of stuff. So there's not really stuff that I could have made funny in this video. But yeah, hope you guys did enjoy. Have a wonderful rest of the day, guys. I'll see you guys inside the next one. And yeah, peace.